Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a school supplies haul and school is right around the corner. I know I start school in a few weeks, so I figured I would get this video out for you guys. This video is also sponsored by Stationary Pal, so thank you to Stationary Pal for sponsoring this video. I am also hosting an international giveaway with them, so make sure you stay till the end of the video for more details. In case you guys are wondering, I'm going into my sophomore year of high school this year, which is honestly kind of crazy because I feel like freshman year went by very, very quickly. So yeah, I am going to be a sophomore this year. I think that's really all I have to say for this intro, so let's get started with the video. Of course, I had to go to Target to get my school supplies, but I did also get some stuff from Stationery Pal, so I'll just be showing you guys everything that I got as a whole. First, let's start off with the stuff that I got from Target, starting off with these two binders. A lot of people say that they don't really like binders for school, but I like binders to keep my stuff organized. I definitely don't like big binders, so I just got two one-inch binders. I got one in white and then one in pink. I honestly don't need big binders for school because I also have notebooks and stuff. I just like these to organize like most of my papers. For my school schedule, we have half of our classes on one day and then half on the next. So I figured I would just have one binder for each of those days. Then I got this purple five star notebook and this one actually has graph paper inside of it. I'm not sure how well you guys can really see it, but I like graph paper notebooks for math just because I feel like the graph paper makes it easier to like do math on it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like graph notebooks for math. So this is the one that I got. And then I did also get three other notebooks. These are all normal line notebooks. I personally prefer college ruled over wide ruled. So I got these three notebooks for three different subjects. We have a white one, a black one, and then this like kind of darker blue color. I honestly really love five star notebooks. I feel like they're great quality. They have a good amount of paper in them and they also have this like folder inside of it to like put stuff in if I have to. I did also get a composition notebook. I don't really like to write in these, but sometimes teachers want you to have one. So I just got this black one. It's like one with the flexible cover. Next up, up, I have a planner. I feel like I get a planner almost every year and never end up using it. But this year, I am determined to use mine. Plus, this one's cute, so I feel like that'll help. This is the five-star brand, and I actually really like how this is organized. This is what the cover looks like. It's super cute. This is a student planner, so it's meant for this school year, and it starts in July of 2022 and ends in June of 2023, which is perfect. There's a spot to put all your information and then also a pocket for your school schedule or something. And then it has all of these really nice tabs to help you separate from the different months. And another thing that I really like about this planner is not only does it have the month pages, it has all these different sections so that I can write different subjects. And I just feel like that will help me stay organized. But I am definitely determined to actually get use out of this throughout the entire year. I feel like last year I probably could have. I just didn't keep up with it. But this year I am taking more accelerated courses. So I'm definitely going to want one of these. Next up, I got a graphing calculator. This year I'm taking honors algebra 2 trigonometry. I think that's what the class is called. And I've heard that we're going to need a graphing calculator and I don't already have one. I just have a scientific one. So I made the purchase of one of these. These are expensive. I'm not going to lie, but I got mine on sale at Target, which is great. In case you're wondering, this is the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. I'm not sure if that helps you, but it does tell you all the classes that it works in. And then I got it in this kind of like very light purple gray color. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. So yeah, that is my calculator. Then I got this pack of loose leaf paper for my binders. Honestly, last year I did get a pack of this and although it's meant for binders, I actually just put this in my folder and I made a lot of use out of it because I felt like my notebooks were mainly where I wrote stuff and then this was just good for loose leaf, but I will put some in my binders as well. This is my favorite type. It's the college ruled reinforced filler paper from Five Star. It is great quality and it has this like reinforcement on the side so it's harder to rip. This one comes with 100 sheets. I got this same pack last year and it lasted me the entire year. So yeah, that's the paper that I got. Then I just got one white folder. I know a lot of people prefer to use folders, especially over binders. Personally for me, I don't know. I kind of just like how binders organize better, but I do like to get one folder every year. This folder I keep in my backpack at all times and it's kind of just where I dump random pages or stuff that I get from teachers. This one does have three hole punches, so you could put it in a binder. I like to get the ones that have like this front pocket it here because I can just slide things in. Last year I used this mainly to hold loose leaf paper and then any handouts that I didn't really need. I get one of these every year. It's super, super helpful. This folder is from Five Star. I really like this brand, but honestly any of these plastic folders I feel like are great. The paper ones tend to break easily. These ones last the whole year, except last year mine, I accidentally ripped off this front pocket once when I was digging through my bag, but that's just because I wasn't careful. These ones are great. Next up, I just have this pack of index cards. Usually I get the 
pack that have like the lines on one side. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention when I put these in the cart. And so I ended up with these. These are unruled, which means they're just blank on both sides. Honestly, I don't mind though, because I kind of like the blank ones. I do have some leftover lined ones from last year. So we just have a nice pack of index cards. Then I got a pack of pencils. These are my favorite type of like the cheaper mechanical pencils. I personally do not like wooden pencils at all. So I always get a pack of like the cheaper mechanical pencils that I'm okay with losing and giving away to people. These are the ones I picked this year. They're the sparkly ones with all the different colors. These honestly work really well and I find myself losing pencils a lot. So having a bigger pack is great for me. Then I have this pack of colored pencils. This is a 24 pack of Crayola pencils. Even though I'm gonna be a sophomore in high school, I feel like you can always find a use for colored pencils. And I feel like these are great to just put in my backpack and have there if I need them at some point. Last year I took biology and actually I needed colored pencils a lot and I didn't have them. So I decided to get a pack for this year. I'm not taking biology, but you never know when you're gonna need these. Next up I have Sharpies. My sister and I are actually sharing these. So we just got a two pack and each of us will have one. I feel like these come in handy at the most random time. So it's always good to have one. Then I got a pack of whiteout. This is honestly a lifesaver. I feel like at school. I don't know why, but I feel like in high school teachers make you use pen more often than in middle school and stuff. And it's the worst to mess up with pen and not have whiteout. So I got a new pack of these. My sister and I will also be sharing this. I like this whiteout because you kind of just like drag it on and you don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. And it looks super clean. So this is the whiteout that I got. Then I have scissors. Scissors are honestly so helpful to have. And I didn't realize this till last year because I feel like when you get into high school, it's like you don't need any of that stuff anymore. But the amount of times I could have used a pair of scissors last year is honestly kind of crazy. There were random days where I could have used them in class or if I had like a string on one of my shirts, I could have used that. Like so many instances where scissors would have been helpful and I didn't have them. So I just got this pair. These are big kid scissors. I don't even know if they're meant for like high schoolers, but I figured they would fit in a pencil case. So I just got these. They're also this kind of like cute pink design. So we have those. And then I have a pack of glue sticks. You would be surprised how much you actually use glue sticks as well. So I just got these disappearing purple Elmer's glue sticks. That's everything that I got from Target. But then I did just pick these up today. I remember that I needed binder dividers for my binders because I still like to keep them organized. And for some reason, Target didn't have the ones that I like where they have pockets on them, but they also have like the slide in labels. I'm kind of picky with dividers and those are the ones that I like. So I stopped at Office Depot today and I got these. I actually got two packs so that I would have one for each binder, but this is a five pack of binder dividers. They do have the slide in labels and they do also have pockets. So I'm glad I got to get these as well. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, Stationery Pal is sponsoring this video and was so kind enough to send me some supplies. So let me just show you guys some school supplies that I got from them. First up, I got this new pencil case. I think I actually got my pencil case from them last year as well, but I decided I wanted to try out a new like shape kind of and design. So I got this this one and let me actually open it up so you guys can see it. It looks very skinny and small from this angle which is nice because it doesn't take up space but when you open it up you can actually like push it out to make it bigger and more of a normal size pencil case. Also the colors are super cute so this is the one I got it's just a basic pencil pouch. Next up I got a pack of highlighters. I have always loved these zebra mild liners but I've never really used them for school and they are so cute so I figured I would get a pack for school. This pack that I got just has pretty basic colors blue, purple, pink, orange, and yellow. These are literally the cutest highlighters and I'm so excited to use these. Next up, I have a pack of pens. I am not exactly sure how to pronounce this brand, but I think it's like Sarasa, something like that. And these are 0.5 millimeters. Look at how adorable these colors are. They are so cute and fun. And I have used their pens before. I really like them. And these are also part of the Zebra brand. So they kind of go with my highlighters. Since this doesn't come with a black pen, I also got one separately. It's the same style and size, just in black. Then I got three nice pencils. By nice pencils, I mean like pencils that are just slightly nicer than the cheaper ones. And these ones I won't be like giving away to people. So these are the mechanical pencils made by Muji. These have 0.5 lead, which I personally prefer over 0.7, but they're just these clear mechanical pencils. They do have a rubber grip and then their eraser does have a cap on it, which is kind of cool. But I just got three of those. And then to go with it, I just got refills of lead. Honestly, every year I should probably buy some because because I feel like I always run out of lead and people around me do and you never know when you're gonna need some So I just got these two little containers of lead. These are 0.5 next up I got this mini eraser This is honestly so cute and I feel like it's perfect for school because it's nice and small This brand of eraser is my favorite. They are so nice and I've never seen one this size before So I thought it was super cute then I got this pack of sticky notes that are like the annotated
annotating ones. I forgot what these are called, but they're just the ones that you can use as like bookmarks or for annotating and look at all the color options. There are so many color choices and I figured for English I'd probably need these for whatever book we read. Going along with those, I got a normal pad of post-its. I love this color of post-its. I get them every year. Post-its can come in handy so many times during the school year for the most random things, so I always like to keep a little pad of them in my backpack. And then I did also get this pack of transparent post-its. I saw these on TikTok, so I decided to try them out. They're just like any other post-it where they stick onto your paper and you can write on them, but they're clear so that you can annotate textbooks and stuff without having to actually write on the page. So I thought they would be fun to try out this school year. Then I got this little box of paper clips and these are rose gold paper clips. Honestly, paper clips come in handy a lot, especially when you have like papers and stuff to hand in and you never know when you're gonna need one of these. Next up, I got this and I honestly forgot what they're called. It's just like whiteout where you can like run it along paper, but instead of it being like whiteout, it's kind of like glue slash tape on it. I literally can't remember what they're called. If I do, I'll put it on the screen, but you basically run it along paper or whatever you need and it sticks to anything. And it's super helpful, especially for bullet journaling. I've actually used one of these before and I really like it. So I got another one. Then I just got this little Pigma marker, I think is what they're called. But this is like one of the graphic ones. It's just in black ink. Here's what the tip looks like. I really like these pens and I don't have this shape of like tip. So I decided to try this one. Then I got this cute pack of stickers because I don't know, I feel like they would look cute on some school supplies and I mean just look at how cute the flowers are and everything, the colors. This pack of stickers is just adorable. And then lastly, I got this pretty big pack of Crayola Super Tips. Obviously, I will not be bringing these to school every day, but they're really helpful for school projects and literally anything. So I got a pack of these. Honestly, I do already have some Crayola Super Tips, but a lot of them are dead and dried out and I'll definitely be sharing these with my sister and friends as well. But I do believe that is all I have from Stationery Pal. So thank you so much to Stationery Pal for sending me all of this. Stationery Pal is actually holding a great back to school campaign where tons of products are being discounted from 50 to 70 percent. Plus they are giving away AirPods, Fitbits, Polaroid cameras, and Kindles. So definitely make sure to go check out their website for all of their back to school events. I put their website and links to everything that they sent me in today's video in the description so that you guys can go check it out. If you guys are interested in purchasing from them, you can use my code ALYSSADARLAND in all caps for 12 percent off your purchase. By using that with the back to school events, you would get great deals. Now let's talk about the details for the giveaway. So like I already said, this is going to be an international giveaway with Stationery Pal. I will be selecting one winner to win all of the stationery in this picture. The rules for this giveaway are you have to be subscribed to Stationery Pal's YouTube channel, which I will be linking in the description so you guys can go find it. And you also have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. For your entry, you can either comment down below your Instagram handle or just email me at my business email, which is on the screen. This is just so that I have a way to contact you guys if you win. And in your entry, comment what grade you're going into. I'm very interested to see. This giveaway will be closed on Thursday, August 11th, so make sure to enter while you can. Also remember, this is an international giveaway, so anyone can enter. Once again, thank you to Stationery Pal for sponsoring this video and for holding this giveaway with me, but I do believe that is all I have for today's video. Although summer is coming to an end, I am excited to start my back-to-school content again, so if you guys have some ideas for me to do for back-to-school, definitely comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. As of right now, I'm posting every Monday and Thursday at 7 a.m. PST, but when school starts, that probably will shift a little bit, but we don't have to focus on that right now. Thank you guys so much for all of your support recently. It honestly means the world, and thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!